Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do a quick little hands-on video of the uh, Android 7.0 Nugget of the uh, on the AT&T Galaxy S6. This is the uh, G920A. So let's power it up. This is still a beta day of AT&T. So this is like an experimental experimental build for AT&T, but it's kind of stable for normal people to use. You can see that we got a brand new boot animation and I got a new jingle too. If we get, if it's it, it's kind of small though, know? it's kind of small, but I like it. You know, it started that wide, flashy AT&T logo. We now get this subtle black, yet nice little AT&T logo. Okay, so we've got a new lock screen here. If you guys don't notice, let me enter my password here. Here it is. This is like the we got the brand new Grease UX now finally on this version. As you can see, can you see it? Maybe it's too bright. Oh. Okay, let me focus it. Dude. There we go. You can see here we got the brand new Grace UX, got a brand new icons, brand new folder looks, and all that. Just pretty, pretty nice, you know. I like it. I like it. You can see there some of the uh, brand new folders. And then we also got the brand new drop down menu right here. As you can see with the 7.0 nugget. We get this new quick little toggles here that actually I kind of like the old version you know, a little bit, but uh, we got this one now, so we got to enjoy it. And if we expand it, if we expand it, oh, whoa. Okay, if we expand it, we can see here we got the um, so close to stock ish version, which is I kind of enjoy. You now we got this now, this pages version of it. We can click this, the name, we can get a quick little action to it, just like in stock Android. See your sound, you immediately just go to simple stuff here. Bluetooth. You also got something called blue light filter now, which is like the, like the uh, night shift on iPhone and iOS. Let me turn that off for you guys. Also, it's simply like a flashlight. We can cut out the name, we can change the uh, brightness intensity. It's like on iOS 10, it's in the 3D touch settings. Okay, let's turn it off. We got Let's see, we got a secure folder. Secure folder basically not available, but I have to install the APK. This one, the S7. And we got phone visibility, which is basically like S Finder, I'm pretty sure they called in the old days. Also, you get like this little menu, change the button layout if you want the 3x3. You can still make it a little bit bigger, you know, but we have more pages right here. Or you can make it 5x3, just smaller ish. Or you can just set it to default. Uh, so here go to settings. Everything seems to be like super wide is I don't really like it But it is what it is. You know, we kind of need to enjoy it It's here the brand new settings. I really like though. They actually like put some stuff up in here You know, they make it a little bit cleaner. Also go to uh, about device with the brand new like little animation right there Which is uh, really really nice as you can see here Android 7.0 Nugget or Nugget I think that they call it. I don't know 7.0. We still got the January patch though, which is never the why because this is a this is kind of an experimental release of at and So hopefully, yeah, it's dead. It's dead, all right. It's dead. Okay, so we got like this brand new device maintenance. So if you guys don't know, we don't have this type of feature on the uh, at and model. This is like basically for the international version. As you can see this is like basically the smart smart manager. Yeah, smart manager app. Like on that back on that by Galaxy A8, as you can see, we just can uh, get full control of battery storage and the RAM usage and all etc. etc. Let's see, we got advanced feature now. We got we finally got game game launcher and game tools. Which I don't think I had that in Marshmallow. Maybe this is because of the beta release. Maybe that's what it is dead. So let's go home here. We got the brand new app. We got the CD the dialer. Okay. We got the dialer. You can see the all everything is white now. Don't want to blast people number off there. We got the brand new gallery too. Like this gets here, the brand new gallery. It's a little bit more nicer and all this and that. We got the yellowish color now and there. Okay. Let's get out of there. We got the brand new camera you want, which is really really nice. You can see here. Skin and swipe left to swipe left. Okay, there you go. Swipe left to get your mode, you get auto, you get a promo right there. 
can change all of those to be good stuff and we got spot to the left no to episode to the right we got the uh, line filters we got the camera 360 and all those those little uh, little, little uh, effects also you can go to the settings here change the picture resolution and uh, this is new save pictures as preview so basically you guys don't know when you guys take a selfie you know the selfie will, will always be like mirrored so the settings will disable that which is really really nice I do love that and then we got the usual settings right here so let's get out of there we got let's see what do we have next what do we have next? Yeah, you can also search for app. For example, I want to search for Snapchat. It does work. No, no. Also, you guys can see here, Snapchat actually works because I read on the uh, developers, XDA developers, that Snapchat does not work. Well, here it is definitely, it is definitely working. Okay. Let's see. Also, we also got Google Assistant for some reason. I finally got a system right here. Hey. Hello there. What can I do for you? see there a system actually works and it actually installed you know because this Google is slowly rolling it out to 7.0 and 6.0 devices and also I want to show you guys something cool little things here that I just found out on the last screen and actually really really nice so let me play a song here let me close it down because I want to get the copyright I lock I lock the device you can see it when I switch volumes look how subtle that is look how beautiful that subtle that is that's really really nice that is really really nice. Also, we got this uh, new effect thing. You can see there, which is really really nice. We also got the bigger version of the uh, app, recent app switcher. You can also tap and hold it and multi window. Okay, we cannot use that. Let's uh, let's swipe this away. Okay, let's go to but this. You can use this app. How about this, yes, you can open it in split view. We can okay, we can change it to Spotify. Yeah, this is basically stock Android features yet yeah, already built in on Samsung since so like what 4.2 on the Note 2. It's pretty nice. You can see there settings minimize. So every time now we gotta go to settings, it will actually resume all those apps, which is pretty pretty nice. Now for a little bit tips here for you guys if you want to install. So I do leave the link to the uh, XDA developer site in the description below. Now that's a little tip here. There's gonna be a new app installed that's called Samsung Cloud. Basically it will back up your device, you know, yada yada. Make sure to disable that because A, it wastes your battery like a lot. B, it will kill your data. Let me see if I can show it to you. I was trying to go to sleep last night and I woke up, my battery is on 71% and my data, my freaking data has been used 1 gigabyte. Can I, let me, let me see, can I, can I show it to you guys? Oh, look at that, look at that. This has happened last night. Look how amazing Samsung Cloud is. It, oh, can you focus? Wow. There we go. 1.38 gigabyte of my data has been used last night and oh my god. Samsung, 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 man. You guys gonna love Samsung not to waste your data. Also, quick little tip of your guys, of course, Samsung users, download Package Disabler Pro. This is the best app for disabling all those stupid Samsung bloatware, especially you got your on me, you're on AT&T, and they don't really use some of these AT&T crap. Just disable this and trust me, you will get your better, you will get your phone performance way better, and you will get more better battery life. Also another new feature here, so when you guys on your lock screen, there's a new prompt every time you want to turn off your device, as you can see here, use fingerprint or add your password to turn off, which is amazing, I mean, it's not on focus, so let me show you guys again here, so example, you know, your friends, you know, they're trying to be silly and all that, they grab your phone, they turn off, maybe they want to put in a recovery, you know, reset it, maybe, you know, worst things case, or maybe, you know, someone saw your phone, when to turn to turn it off, when they, when they turn, turn it off, they need a password or fingerprint, which is thumbs up. Maybe this is an at and exclusive little thingy, or maybe it's on of all the version of the S6, or maybe the S7 too. But I don't see any YouTubers cover this, which is really interesting. This is really interesting. So, I'm on a power off my device, I need my fingerprint. So, when I tap my fingerprint, the phone will turn off. That's really amazing move.
Okay guys, so that is the uh, quick little hands-on. It was not necessarily turned as quick as I want. So, but it is a little hands-on video of the uh, Nugget on the at and Galaxy S6. Hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more new videos. And then catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.